I think pretty much everybody at this point knows that Windows Defender is not great at its job. Well, that's why I've tested a big batch of the best antivirus for Windows 11 options and picked out three that managed to impress me, whether it be their effective malware scans, useful features, or impressive customizability. All right, let's start with a clear fan favorite, Bitdefender. Now, I see you guys in the comments raving about it, and look, I get it. As far as the best antivirus for Windows contenders go, Bitdefender is a true all-arounder. The app is sleek and straightforward, yet it hides powerful malware prevention features like their privacy firewall and real-time protection. Both of these monitor your device constantly for any sign of suspicious activity. However, what sets Bitdefender apart is its top-tier malware detection. Bitdefender for Windows has more AV comparative awards than any other provider, and AV test independent testers always rate their malware protection with top scores. Now, of course, we do quite a lot of our own testing here. It usually involves intentionally uploading 10 malicious files onto a PC, disabling real-time protection, and then running a full scan. If an antivirus catches at least seven out of 10 files, I'd say it's worth the money, as the rest is usually easily caught by real-time protection, which every reliable top antivirus has. So what about those Bitdefender testing results? Well, this Windows antivirus managed to capture all 10 malicious files that I planted. The scan took around 17 minutes, which, as you'll see later, is much longer than the other providers. However, throughout the whole scan, it only used around 50% of my CPU. This makes Bitdefender one of the best antivirus for laptops options, especially if your laptop doesn't have high specs. If that's the case, I also recommend using their one-click optimizer. It cleans up your disk, optimizes your browser, and does some Windows tweaking to achieve the best possible performance. In addition, it looks like Bitdefender has high hopes of becoming your one-stop cybersecurity tool as it has both a password manager and a VPN. But personally, I tend to stick to the antivirus as the VPN has an annoyingly small data limit. And you have to grab one of the more expensive all-in-one plans if you want the password vault or the VPN feature without that data limit. Oh, and speaking about plans, there are a couple of things you should know when it comes to this best antivirus for PC contender. First, there's a free Bitdefender version. It's good for a one-time malware scan, but don't expect any more protection than that. Regarding the premium plan, Plans. If you want to go the more basic route, there's a Windows-specific Antivirus Plus plan, which covers three devices. Just keep in mind that it doesn't have the PC optimizer, nor the firewall, and no parental controls either. Well, that's why I went straight for the Total Security plan myself. It covers all those things and also lets me install Bitdefender on five devices in total. And that's paired with parental controls features. Let's me protect not only my own PC, but my kids' devices as well. Now, real quick, I need to remind you that I always leave the most up-to-date discount deals in the description below, so don't forget to use them. After this video, though, just because Bitdefender is great doesn't mean that it's the one and only best antivirus for Windows 11, because another great option to try is Total AV. It has almost everything you'd need to protect your PC, a solid password manager, a VPN without a data limit, thank God, and even an excellent ad blocker. I also found excellent PC optimization tools, and their duplicate file scanner is an absolute PC cleanup MVP. It's super easy to use and highly effective at cleaning up junk. However, got a bit of a beef with this antivirus for Windows 11. It does not have a firewall. I've been complaining about this for what, two, three years now? Yet this feature is still nowhere to be found. It's a bit disappointing as I truly think it's essential for the best antivirus protection. Still, it looks like they're managing to offer robust security even without it. In the latest AV comparative malware protection testing, it got an impressive 99.97 online protection rating with zero false positives flagged. Meanwhile, Bitdefender flagged six innocent files as malware in the same test. Now, it's not that much since the latest test contains hundreds, if not thousands of files, but zero is way more impressive on Total AV side. Now, in my own testing, Total AV caught eight malicious files out of the 10 that I planted. The CPU usage was similar to Bitdefender, but the scan was only seven minutes. Now, Total AV also has a free plan. It can scan for malware and offer anti-phishing protection, but there is a one device limit and all the features stay locked up. As for the premium plans, the Total AV Total Security plan has the best bang for your buck. 
as it has a VPN, a password vault, and an ad blocker included. It is a bit expensive though, so if you don't need additional tools, look into their lower tier plans, which are much more affordable. All right, now if you're very into security and want to control most aspects of it, then hands down the best antivirus for you should be Norton. Norton for Windows absolutely crushed the latest AV test rating with top scores in every single category, and they've been gathering great ratings for years at this point. In my own testing, Norton caught 7 out of 10 files with a simple full scan, as much of their detection power resides in their real-time protection feature, which I turned off for the testing. The score is pretty much what I expected. The scan took 8 minutes, which is relatively fast, but the CPU usage was rather high this time, around 80%. This doesn't mean anything tragic, only that you should leave your PC alone during the scan. And just like the previous Best Antivirus 2023 candidates, it has the holy trinity of security, an antivirus, a VPN, and a password manager. However, when I said it's a great choice for security enthusiasts, oh, I meant it. Norton Antivirus is the king of customizability, and their smart firewall is a great example. By default, it protects you from various threats by monitoring your traffic, but if you take time to tweak the settings, well, you can customize it to a T. This applies to the whole app, too. It's a security powerhouse. There are only two things that bug me when it comes to this best antivirus program. One, many features in their apps open up in new windows, which can leave beginners lost and confused, typing to grasp what's going on between 10 Norton app windows. And two, there's no free version. Although the premium plans start at an affordable price, offering some kind of a free plan seems like an industry standard. Looks like Norton missed the memo on that one. And speaking of missing out on things, if you want the latest cybersecurity news and reviews, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, now before we wrap this up, I wanna address a couple of things. First off, oh, I see you guys commenting about the Kaspersky thing all the time, asking why I'm never including it anymore. Well. Since Kaspersky originates from Russia and that whole Russian-Ukrainian conflict is still going on, yeah, I think I'm gonna stand my ground and not recommend anything that I can't fully trust. And it's not just me. Whole countries are advising against it, including those of us here in the US. Now, there are just as powerful best antivirus options out there, three of which I just mentioned. And I can give you a few more recommendations as well if you want. So for the ultimate VPN and antivirus combo, you can actually check out the Surfshark antivirus. Or if you don't want to ditch Windows security entirely, try NordVPN's threat protection feature. It works as an additional security layer. But I still urge you to try one of the three best antivirus app options that I mentioned. These are the ones that I trust and rely on the most. They all have money back guarantees if you change your mind, so nothing to lose. All right, overall Bitdefender will be great for beginners. Total AV, a great package deal if you want to cover all cybersecurity bases, and Norton is the best option if you want more control over your security. Whichever option you pick, just don't forget to check that box on the side for the best antivirus for Windows deals. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one.